Hi, I'm Bailey Kylie, and today I will be talking about adverse childhood experiences, known as ACEs. The ACE study was performed in the mid-1990s and found a connection between childhood abuse and household dysfunction and adult health. It was discovered that the higher a person's ACE score, the more likely they were to have health problems and emotional and mental challenges. Adverse childhood experiences are traumatic events that happened during the first 18 years of life that can negatively affect health and well-being. Ten ACEs were identified and addressed in the study. There are three types of abuse, physical, emotional, and sexual, two types of neglect, emotional and physical, and five types of household challenges, domestic violence, substance abuse in the home, mental illness in the home, separation or divorce, and a household member getting incarcerated. The study occurred at a health clinic in San Diego, California. All participants were given a screener which asked for demographic and biopsychosocial information, as well as family and medical history. Next, they were mailed the ACE questionnaire. Over 17,000 people responded. The participants were both men and women who were predominantly college educated, white, and employed. After analyzing the data, findings showed that 64% of people had experienced at least one ACE and 12.5% had experienced four or more. The original 1998 study concluded that as ACEs increased, so did health risks such as smoking, obesity, physical inactivity, depression, suicide attempts, alcoholism, drug use, and multiple sexual partners. Due to the stress from ACEs, youth develop these risky behaviors to cope, which puts them on the path to poor adult health outcomes. ACEs also impact the immune and endocrine systems, as well as the brain. ACEs can cause problems in the brain in the areas of behavior, concentration, memory, learning, and executive functioning. ACEs set people up on a trajectory for negative life outcomes. The researchers of the ACE study created the ACE pyramid to display this path. On the bottom of the pyramid are adverse childhood experiences, which causes disrupted neurodevelopment, which leads to social, emotional, and cognitive impairment. That can cause the adoption of health risk behaviors, which cause disease, disability, and social problems. At the top of the pyramid is the end of the path, early death. I know all this sounds bleak, but not all hope is lost for people who experience ACEs, because all people have the ability to be resilient. Resilience is our ability to bounce back after adversities. Resilience can be strengthened through protective factors, such as positive and caring child-adult relationships. Resilience can help us prevent these long-term detrimental impacts of ACEs and trauma. We can help our students build their resilience and we can be buffers for adversities if we are trauma-informed and understand the impacts of ACEs and trauma. This is Bailey Colley. Thanks for watching.